Uh, speaking of the NFL, let's go ahead and switch topics here. Uh, we spent a long time on that first one there. Good gracious, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Uh, George Kittle signed a massive contract, and then just a few minutes before the show today, Travis Kelsey signed a massive contract. George Kittle's five years, $75 million. That is massive, and it is $30 million guaranteed at signing. Uh, Travis Kelsey, four years, $57 million. Here's the age difference. All right, so this is Kelsey's third contract. He's already made $33 million in the league. Uh, Kittle, his base salary was $2.6 million, uh, and he is just finishing up his rookie deal. So, you know, Kittle, 26 years old. Kelsey is 30 years old. He will turn 31 in October this year. This is a lot of money for tight ends. I think we both agreed that the Kittle one makes sense, and the Kelsey one seems like maybe a bit much. The Kelsey one's weird to me. I've been watching Andy Reid for a long, long time. And and he's sometimes had good tight ends, and sometimes he's had okay tight ends. Sometimes he's had bad ones, and sometimes he's had great ones. And his offense doesn't really ever run through the tight end, ever. I I find it strange that he pays an aging tight end when when there are probably going to be some of these young speedster receivers, running backs that are going to need to get paid in the next couple of years, maybe some offensive line help. You don't really know what could come up in free agency and in defense. Paying Kelsey's a, a hell of a tight end. Okay. Elite. He's great. At what point do tight ends fall off because he's no longer nearly fast enough to cover or to, to, to be as open as he is. He loses athleticism with age. Um, he's not a blocking tight end where he can mitigate some of those problems. The next time he blocks somebody will be the first time he's blocked somebody. Yeah. Now you're, you're right. Um, Kelsey on the, uh, Kittle on the other hand, holy cow. Yeah. This guy is a freak. This guy's a stud getting him locked up for five years is the smartest thing you can do. This is, this is the Kelsey deal four years ago. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is, this guy is a young, hot shot tight end. We want him here in his prime. We don't want anybody else having him. Uh, Kittle in the Super Bowl had four receptions for 36 yards, no touchdowns. Kelsey had six receptions, 43 yards, and one touchdown. With so, with Debo Samuel's probably missing the, the the a lot of time this year with a foot injury. Um, Kittle's going to be the most important factor on that offense. Oh yeah, I I think he's gonna have an unbelievable season. Uh, let's see. The Brown Yeti said, did Andy pay him or did KC pay him? And he, uh, he's he been there for a while. I think that he got his other contract when Andy Reid was there. Yeah, so, he probably did. Yeah, Andy Reid's right. been there for a long time. I'm going to bet Andy drafted him. Uh, Mark jumps in. He said nine uh, players quarantined at Notre Dame. Three tested positive yesterday. That's interesting. And Michael said, where is KC getting all this money? Tight ends take a beating. Look at Gronk. They decline fast. Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. Well, Kelsey. Gronk's saving grace was he was the best block. Not only was he the best receiving tight end in the country, he was also the best blocking tight end in the in the league. And, and that's the reason he was able to stay on the field, maintain his ability to be there, and, you know, we'll hit you when we get to the red zone. And, and you can just go up and be bigger than everybody else, but you're no longer any use in the middle of the field because his injuries and athleticism were just piling up. But that's okay. You mold people over, and we will dominate the run game. Yep, yep. Uh, Damien jumps in. Wait, so you mean to tell me that Little and Kelsey can get big contracts, but Everson Griffin only got $3 million from the Cowgirls? What the hell? Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Cowboys, I think the Cowboys are not doing anything from now they they I think they grossly overpaid uh Zeke but you know my opinion on running backs oh yeah and and then and then I I would not have have given Cooper the the money they gave Cooper but that's they gave that's him a ton of money at some point in time they got to figure out are we moving on from Dak or are we paying Dak and if you're paying Dak you got to be very careful with who else you pay and if you're moving on with Dak shoo you got a rookie deal you just start spreading that money around anywhere you want Yep, yep, you are correct. You are 100% correct. Um, let's move into our next topic. I want to talk about the NBA playoffs right now. Come on. 